we're back. We are. Mm. Oh, and we are back today. With some echo. 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 And do you know what echo stands for? In Tindy House. Chili oil. Chili oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at you. Paying attention to all that. <laughs> this was another one of our chasing the sun. Chasing the sun. It was. Um, the, uh, purchases. The three, didn't we? And we we did. This one, we got the basil and we got the. I'm trying to remember desperate off the top of my head. Car room off the top of my head. I'm so Rosemary. bad. Rosemary. Rosemary, that was it. And it was another herb. So, um, yeah. Now, Kaylee has tried this and um, she made a lot of strange noises when she tried it. I think she found it a, a little warm. And I thought to myself, it's only habanero. What are you making all that noise about? Then I saw the ingredients. So, either either or, extra virgin or cold pressed rapeseed oil, right, both good quality oil. Definitely. Habanero chilli. Carolina Reaper chilli. Ooh hoo hoo! <laughs> now I know why you made the funny noises. Yeah. Um, being an oil as well, oils are oily. Yeah, they 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 kind of adhere. Coat is the word you're looking for. No, they adhere to your pain receptors quite well um so the transmission because obviously you know capsaicin is an oil as mm -hmm. well um it's the perfect vessel for it isn't it uh, well perfect if you're looking for a a burn um comes in small bottles it comes in big bottles and it comes in larger bottles and I get the feeling that a little will go quite a long way mm -hmm. with this. Yeah, and we we use chili oil, mm -hmm. um, sort of various things like I like it on garlic bread, yeah. um, into soups and things like that. Just a few drops of that into a into a soup, or just where you're looking to kind of pep something up. Yeah, a little bit would never cook with it, and it's never really recommended to to use as a cooking oil. It's a seasoning. Isn't yeah, it? It, it's. Generally, when you start adding stuff to oil, I mean, ol olive oil doesn't have a particularly high smoke point anyway. Um, so frying with it is, you actually need rather naff olive oil yeah. if you're going to fry with it. Yeah. Because the smoke point's that, that bit higher. But your salad dressings and things like that, this is where you, your good quality and your flavoured oils are. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. Yeah. A little bit of chilli oil. Dip some freshly nice. baked bread or little dough balls yeah, and stuff like that into it a little yeah. bit of garlic bread or mm -hmm. something on there and yeah this is the realm of chili oil you add it to stuff so i'm not going to smell it because it's going to smell of oil i am going to smell it just because i'm going to be difficult well, that's fine <laughs> um it's going to smell of oil because it's oil um, you probably with the the rosemary and the basil one. Yeah. You're going to get a much more fragrant pasta. Just food. smells of oil to me. Yeah. Smell that. Let's see what you think. No, I can smell pepper. Mutant nose. I can smell peppers. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad. Yeah. It's subtle. Maybe, it's subtle, but it's there. Maybe a little bit, but. It's not a bad smell, but it's it's oil, so it's going to smell like oil. Just it's a beautiful colour, though, isn't it? This sort of ready amber. Gorgeous Absolutely kind of glorious. thing. Yeah. It's the colour of what they started Jurassic Park with, isn't it? That amber. It is amber. It's liquid It's not going to turn me into a brontosaurus, this, is it? Um, so, we were going to do these, but... It's oil. You don't want a teaspoon of oil. 
what you want is oil on something. So we've gone for lightly salted. Yeah, just plain lightly salted tortilla chips. These Nothing too offensive in the flavour that's going to detract from what we're exactly. what we're trying. So it should be a good vehicle for. As Johnny would say, don't tell, taint your oil, bro. Yeah, don't taint your oil, bruh. So I'm just going to put a little drizzle on there, just so I've got I've got enough to be able to taste it, and then I'm going to eat it because it's oil and it will run everywhere. It's got a build. It's got a good, like, olive oil. Mm, really, really nice, smooth, good mm. olive oil flavour. And then you just start to get that little bit of a tingle that comes in. And it is, weirdly for me this time, I'm used to getting like a habanero type sting at the back of my, or at the front of my tongue. Hmm. This is actually more towards like the sides and the back, and I'm guessing it's because I've obviously eaten and I've I've carried it carried it back. But it's a nice sort of steady little burn, and you know it's it's not too much. Mm. Okay. Oh, that got me that time. <laughs> yeah. That got me on the back of the throat that time. Mm. So as a, as a flavour, it's not actually overpoweringly flavoured. That you could no. quite happily drizzle it on anything. And it will just give you that nice level of, nice level of heat. You could use that like you would do any extra virgin mm. olive oil. Yeah, you know, just a little bit over the top of, like you say, garlic bread, bruschetta, something like that. Pizzas, salad. Just a little bit yeah. over the top of some pasta. Um, but it's got that interesting level of, you weren't expecting that heat. Yeah, but it's it's not too much. You know, no. I, would, I definitely wouldn't recommend anybody who's not used to a bit of chilli flavour mm. having it. Because, um, like you said, it does coat, it does stay around for quite a while. Like, I've just licked my lips. Yeah. And I've now got burning lips. Got a tingle around my yeah. lips as well. So, it's a laster, it, it's it's sneaky. That, for me, if you were having like a, if you like pasta, um, a carbonara, um, it would be amazing with that sort of the, the cheese sauce and getting that little bit of the, the heat for that. Or if you're going into any of the more sort of, tomato -y sort of coated pastas but for me I would love that on carbonara garlic bread pizza uh, yeah. use it as a salad dressing definitely mix you that could, with a little you, bit of balsamic you could put that on top of a steak mm. yeah if you would normally do like a, a sort of garlic butter or something like that yeah um you could put, mix that in with it give it a little bit of heat um it's almost got a slightly toasty flavor to it hasn't it mm. like a toasted Rather than that could be flavour. Could be the um, tortilla chips mm. with that, but potent stuff. It's potent, but it you know it won't overpower anything else well, that you're eating. As long as you don't put too much on. <laughs> no, from a, from a flavour perspective, mm. it's not going to. It doesn't impart too much. It it does what you would expect it yeah. to do, which is give you some heat uh, the flavor is a good oil um but yeah it, it's i would imagine that the the basil one and the the rosemary one i would think they're basil, they're basil and rosemary yes it is you're, you're correct <coughs> um <clears throat> i would think that they convey much more flavor mm -hmm. um and would be far more impactful 
But you could put that on some fried rice. You could put that. Yeah, um, if, you're, if you're making like a, a pho or some kind of noodle soup or something like that, that would go great in there. Veggie of, spring rolls, give them a little yeah. coat into that. And yeah, you're just bringing the heat up. Asian food, if you don't know about chilli oil and you eat Asian food, you're doing it wrong. Um, you know, the Chinese love their black vinegar, they love their chilli oil. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a big thing there. That you could definitely use on Asian food. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you could. Really good. So, e-co.co.uk is where you need to go. Um, link is in the description. Heat-wise for you? For me, I would say probably a one. Yeah, probably a one for me. Um, it, your Absolutely. mileage may vary. Yeah. You know, it, it kind of depends on what you're used to. Um, but it's not scary, scary hot. You know, pretty much anyone could try a few drops of that. A few drops of that on something wouldn't, uh, wouldn't hurt anybody. They'd be fine. Would it? Anyway, I think that's quite enough from us. It, it is, it is. So, thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one.